Today, we're going to talk about a simple way to lower your blood pressure through breathing exercises. And in this video, we're going to ask three important questions. Number one, how those breathing exercises work? Number two, how much drop in blood pressure can you expect? Number three, how to do these breathing exercises correctly to get long-lasting results. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, board certified cardiologist, heart patient myself. Let's dive in. How does breathing exercises work to lower your blood pressure? Uh, breathing exercises can effectively lower your blood pressure by uh, leveraging natural responses of your nervous system. And typically an adult at rest breathes between 12 to 18 uh, times per minute. That's what we call uh, respiratory rate. It's a vital sign like your blood pressure, your heart rate. And slow breathing is uh, considered anything between 6 and 10 breaths per minute with a longer exhalation. And what happens is when you take a deep breath, your lungs expand. The sheet muscle, the diaphragm, that separates the lungs and the heart from the abdomen from your stomach, from your intestine, uh, pulls down, contracts, and allowing the lungs to expand completely and getting more oxygen to your body. This activates the vagus nerves, uh, activating the rest and digest the response of your parasympathetic nervous system. And this increase in oxygen intake leads to release of uh, uh, good feel uh, chemicals in your brain called endorphins and lowering your stress hormones, epinephrine and norepinephrine. As you exhale, uh, your diaphragm, this sheet muscle presses back upwards against your lungs and this movement actually causes a slight rise in blood pressure, which your nervous system uh, interprets uh, by lowering your heart rate, counteracting it and widening blood vessels and leading to a uh, a drop in blood pressure. So the autonomic nervous system uh, has two components, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the fight or flight response to physical or emotional uh, stress. If the brain perceives uh, dangers, you, it's going to increase your heart rate, it's going to increase your, uh, your breathing, is going to get more blood to your muscles and get you ready to fight or flight response. One of the problems we have is that there are two types of stress, real stress, physical stress, and emotional stress. And the body reacts to both the same ways, what leads us to serious problems over the long run. Deep breathing essentially activates the parasympathetic nervous system, uh, calming your body and reducing uh, your stress. And this relaxation response uh, dilates the blood vessels and decreases your heart rate and lowers your blood pressure. There is no doubt that engaging in uh, regular deep uh, breathing exercises can help you manage your blood pressure. Question number two. How much can breathing exercises lower your blood pressure? Let's look at the evidence. A review of studies published in Frontiers in Physiology clearly demonstrated that breathing exercises can drop both the systolic, the upper number, and diastolic, the lower number in your blood pressure. It's clear that breathing practices can be uh, beneficial. Now, how much can you expect? It will vary from person to person, but you can expect a uh, decrease in systolic blood pressure, the upper number between 5 and 10 millimeters of mercury, and on the lower number between 3 to 5 points, five, 3 to 5 millimeters of uh, mercury. And to learn more about a holistic approach to lower your blood pressure, watch this video, Top 7 Ways to Lower Your Blood Pressure Naturally Without Medication. I'll put a link above and on the description uh, below. Let's look at question number three. How to do breathing exercises correctly to get long lasting results. Let's go through different types of breathing exercises. Let's start with the simplest one. It's called diaphragmatic breathing, also called abdominal breathing or belly uh, breathing. And you wanna, on all these exercises, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth like you blowing a candle, a birthday uh, cake uh, candle. So on the belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, you want to exhale through your nose, 
slowly and deeply and you want to exhale through your mouth. So let me give you an example. You want to put a hand in your chest and the hand in your belly and you want to take a slow deep breath. And you want to do this for five minutes to 10 uh, minutes, so twice a day if you can. Uh, let's look at another type of breathing exercise. It's called the box breathing, also known as four square uh, breathing or uh, sama vritti pranayama. It's a type of breathing used in some form of yoga and is used by the United States Navy SEALs and other military personnel to help them deal and calm down and manage stress in high pressure uh, situations. And how do you do it? Let me demonstrate. But essentially, you breathe in for four uh, seconds, you hold for four seconds, you exhale for four seconds, you hold for four, uh, another four seconds, and you uh, repeat. And finally, we have another method called the 478 breathing method. It's pretty much the same, except the time is a little bit different. You inhale through your nose for four counts, you hold it for seven counts, and you exhale through your mouth for eight counts. And you repeat this cycle uh, four times until you get comfortable with it. and you repeat. Well, breathing exercises are a simple, effective way to help manage your blood pressure. And by dedicating just several minutes a day, you can experience significant benefits. And remember, consistency is key. And for sustained improvements in blood pressure, it's crucial to incorporate these exercises into your daily routine and combine them with other important lifestyle changes, the whole foods plant-based diet, the regular exercise, and medications if prescribed by your doctor. And to learn more about a comprehensive holistic approach to lower your blood pressure, watch this video, Blood Pressure, Top 7 Drinks to Lower It Naturally Without Medications. I'll put the link above and on the description below. If you like this video, share it with your family and friends, and please subscribe. And remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.